In the previous lessons, you learned how you can use Expresso. You learned the uh, most important nodes, how data types work, and now it's time for our final project. So here we have a nice uh, model of a jellyfish, which I uh, modeled. Um, it's pretty simple, very low res, but that makes it easier for us to rig this thing. And um, to start uh, rigging this this uh, jellyfish and make it dynamic with Expresso, we need to plan our our setup first. So let's take a look at the model. So we have uh, here two uh, null objects. The first one is called strings, and the strings are just those uh, uh, thin lines under our jellyfish, which is like yeah, just small th strings. If I open this one, you see that it's just a bunch of sweep nerves. Every single one is a single sweep nerves. Um, I just built them with a. I built one, and then I created a cloner and cloned them radial under. Uh, under this head of our or under the body of our jellyfish so when I open this one up you see it's just a profile an inside in this case and a spline so nothing fancy the other one uh, worked the same it's just a instance of this inside here so if I change the width of this one um, all of them will also become thicker or thinner but that's basically it just a few sweep nerves and then we have this hypernobs object, um, which is called jellyfish. So it's deactivated. I uh, just deactivated it because it's faster in the viewport. You can also activate it. Then everything is a little bit smoother. But for now, I will deactivate it like this. And let's unfold our jellyfish. So um, the hard thing uh, with the jellyfish is that I have no idea how all these different parts uh, um, how they, um, how you call them. So I just gave uh, them random names, what I thought fits best. So don't bother with those names here. Um, first of all, we have this big part up here, which I called body. We can unfold this one. You see it's a cloth, cloth nerves um, object and the actual mesh. I just added this um, cloth nerves. If I zoom in here and you see a close up of the side wall, if I activate it, the cloth nerves just gives us a little bit thickness, so that it's not uh, it's just a, a flat surface. I just wanted to give it a little bit thickness, so it looks nicer when you render it. If there's some refraction going on, and for this you need uh, the thickness. It also works, of course, without this um, cloth nerves, but I thought it would be nicer. So the second part. Uh, I called brain. I know that actually uh, jellyfishes don't have a real brain, <laughs> but um, yeah, I, I didn't know how to call this part here in the middle. And I saw some pictures of jellyfishes, and they had yeah this uh, weird-looking stuff in there. So I called it brain. Um, if you open this one up, again a cloth nerves to give it thickness. Let's deactivate it here. We can activate it. Or maybe let's deactivate them both. Um, and we have an upper part and this middle part and at the bottom I created something called blob. So you can of course create your own jellyfish and make it look how you like it. Um, I liked it like this and so we have these uh, three parts here. So let's fold them again. Then we have a null object called antenna which is this antenna stuff here. It's basically just one antenna which I built here I, I just modeled it, pretty simple geometry, and put it into a cloner, and the cloner is set to radial, which you can see here. And if I activate it, it gets cloned in a yeah radial radial way. And you can of course change the count if you want a lot or if you want less. I just took 13 because I thought it looks nice, but you can of course change it. And then we have a fourth uh, null object which is called tentacles there are some meshes in there maybe let me just drag them out that you can see them so basically i just modeled uh, three different kinds of tentacles it's just uh, a thicker one that the um, thin ones here at the side so i wanted something like a core in there and it's just yeah just a random modeled uh, uh, more like more like a fin or something 
and those are just yeah I, I modeled one and then I modified the other ones I, I copied it three times modified them a little bit um, and um, yeah scaled them down so that I just have three different kinds of tentacles so let's put them back in place they're just under one null object and they should be here right in the middle and I want uh, to connect them later with Expresso just to the um, to the middle of our blob here so that they move always in the middle and we have the small strings surrounding them. So to um, know exactly what we want to do we should first of all think about uh, what our setup should look like or what functions do we want to have. So in this example I just want to have one um, controller something like a null object or something which I can grab and lift upwards in this way and the whole uh, movement of my uh, jellyfish so the the pumping and uh, some some bending of the antennas and stuff like this should all be driven by Expresso so that I don't have to care about it I just take the null object lift it upwards and the rest is driven by Expresso so now we know what we want to do and we will uh, jump into the next lesson and start with the movement of our body here.